I will find the key. Hey everybody, uh, I've noticed a lot of uh, the VOD reviews I've done recently. I talk a lot about orb usage and being thoughtful with your orbs. Perhaps. Thought I'd demonstrate what I mean by that. Because I mean, I talk about it a lot in the in the VOD reviews and kind of show uh, maybe Being some options, science, like in the moment, in that maybe I've done. But I, I just wanted to try like a practical example and see how it works out. Um, I like that it's on this map too, because this is a newer map, so it's not like I have like existing orb locations that I really like. It's mostly just using the map geometry. And that's how I do most of my orbs. So, for example, this one, I shoot it at that wall because I know it's going to bounce and head back towards their spawn and then back out, right? And the next one I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot flat against that wall. It's going to go over their team and then it's going to come back, right? And I'm going to get a lot of value out of it. Instead of just shooting it at a person, shoot it at a spot, right? See how it's, how it's going to go. Oops, I'm going to die there. Um but how I continue getting value out of that orb. Guess I'm gonna have to work on not standing out in the open when I'm talking about this, but it's okay, I don't wanna just smash the enemy team either. Uh, this is somewhere in gold, I think. I don't, I don't know what this account is. So, anyway, again, just looking at where the enemy team is. Okay, shoot it there. I shot it from there, it's gonna go at a little bit of a downward angle. And then it's just gonna head right back, right? And they're not really looking at it. Um, I actually don't like that one as much. So, now how about a healing orb? Well, I guess I don't need it. So another damage orb, I can do there. It'll go over there, and if anybody's behind, like trying to uh, flank, we'll put pressure on them. Or here, right? Where's he gonna run after I damage him? Well, he's gonna run that way. Well, he should have. Guess he'd rather die. Right? Or there. Because now that one is going to bounce against. Oh, look, it. It's bounce against that back wall over there. It bounce against that back wall, and then anybody that's trying to get away, right, it follows them. There's two different options. I'm definitely lagging behind here. Shoot, even the Zen's got <laughs> almost double my healing. So, like that one, it's going to bounce against that flat wall, and the cart's right there, right? It's going to get value from the... This random spam is obnoxious. Let me talk! Oh, God. So, this one. Bounce against this flat wall, over here. Man, these people are annoying. Let me talk! Alright. So for this one, I made them all turn around, right? And then my my team can walk in, right? That's a, like an example I talked about when I'm talking about like alternate angles on uh, ults. I guess I, I don't really want to do. This guy is really annoying. Die. Okay. Now in an example like that, like you're gonna go finish a finish a kill or something like that. It, 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 in the heat of the moment, yeah. You don't need to get all the value out of that orb. Okay, so him. God. People are really annoying. See, I bounce it in such a way that it would stay down there. Like here, I'll bounce it against this wall. It's going to bounce in front of them instead of just shooting it directly at them. Let's see if I can bait this. Oh, fuck. I clicked. <laughs> I clicked my fade. God, this keyboard's got like some kind of input lag. There's no, uh, no big deal though. So, and then, so right now, I know they're going to be running up, right? Shoot an orb there. I could have shot that a little bit lower and it'll bounce back and forth here. Bounce it so it's gonna head towards them. So, this one right here. As soon as the wall goes away. Right there. Right, and see how it'll, it'll bounce back and forth here a little bit? Does it bounce back and forth the whole way down? No. It's okay, it doesn't have to, right? 
As long as you find ways to get the value, there, shoot another one. Right. Now it'll it'll go down here and pressure anybody that's down here. So hopefully this is making sense. But <laughs> it, it's I, I don't like to do I haven't tried it, but I don't think I would like to do like a scripted video. I don't know, I see a lot of those. I just want it to like advance organically so you can see what I'm doing in the moment. So ho hopefully it's helping. But you can see like how I approach each interaction and how I'm going to use my orb. I'm doing all of that, but just silently in my head while I'm playing. All right, so I'm just looking for different ways to bounce my orb, you know, based on the map geometry. I don't memorize anything specific. Like there's the, there's ones that I've done so often that, yeah, sure, now it's just a, a memorized thing. Um, but this map isn't one of those. Like for example, you can see there's that high ground. You can see it right there. Right? So when I when this door opens, I'll probably shoot an orb up there, right? Pacifism is foolish. What makes you think? You see the soldier just ran by on there. You sure talk like one. Am I gonna get any value? Maybe, maybe not. But I might get a few ticks, and then by the time I need a, an orb again, it, it'll be ready. So it's always good to try and try and get an orb out as, as soon as you can. Looks like they got an echo too, and she's gonna shoot her bombs at this door. At least I think she is. So what I want to do... Oh my god, I got bumped. I hate that, like, friendly player models bump you. That's... That's what I was going to do, right? Shoot an orb up there. Put some pressure on him, right? And now here... Right? I can see them. I can shoot an orb off of that. That little flat part. Right, and it's gonna bounce around up there and put pressure on them, and I don't even have to—I don't even have to get seen. Right, so shoot an orb against that flat wall over there, and then, right, then I'll be able to—it'll—it'll—it'll uh, it'll, it'll move back towards me. That one will bounce around up there. I, I didn't necessarily shoot it at a person; I shot it at a wall. I knew where I would get a good bounce from. Right? This guy's still up here. I need him to die. Do you see that? Bouncing against that. That was bad fade. I'm not really thinking. Progress is seldom won with ease. I'm also not healing, like, at all. <laughs> so. But, okay, here's another example. Shoot against that flat spot over there. Now it's gonna bounce back. Right? Bounce into the enemy team. I... To me, a good value orb is when you get at least... At least one good bounce out of. Right? Now look at that. Look at all those players in there. I can get so much pressure just from doing that. Right? I didn't just throw it at him. I threw it at a wall. So it'll bounce. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Get as many of those as I can. Let's see if I can screw with them before they can contest. <laughs> so, anyway, that's it. I hope it helped. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if, if uh, this type of video is helpful or if it's not and it's just dumb. Um, I'm just trying to think of different ways to demonstrate some of the stuff that I do uh, so you guys can continue improving your gameplay. So let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.